ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फ्रॉम प्रैक्टिस सेट फाइव पॉइंट वन इन द पैरेलेलोग्राम ए बी सी डी इन द पैरेलेलोग्राम ए बी सी एंड डी ओके ए इज इक्ल्स टू थ्री एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व एंड बी इज इक्ल्स टू टू एक्स प्लस सॉरी माइनस थर्टी टू then find the value of x we have to find first the value of x and the find the major of c and d okay we first we have to find uh, with this two terms we have to find x then we have to find c and d okay so here a b c d is in parallelogram the question uh, in the question given here then a b a b plus uh, 180 degree adjacent angle of a uh, parallelogram are supplementary okay so we have to add a and b okay a and b so we have to add these two terms is equals to 180 degree so we have to first we have to close open this bracket okay we have to open this brackets and uh, 3x plus 2x is equals to 5x and 12x plus minus minus okay how can we write plus minus minus okay then 12 minus 32 that is 32 minus 12 is 20 is equals to 180 degree then uh, 5x as it is we have to write here then 180 as it is here uh, minus 2 will be change in plus 2 180 plus 20 sorry 20 am huh? 180 plus 20 is equals to 200 Five x is equals to two hundred. Then x is equals to two hundred divided by five. Five ones are five. Five fours are twenty. Zero as it is, we have to write here forty degree. So x is equals to forty degree. We will we have find here. Okay. Then c is equals to a. C is equals to a. The reason is opposite angle of a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, जितना uh, C रहेगा उतना A रहेगा. Then uh, angle C is equals to 3x plus 12. What was what will be the angle mentioned here? What was the angle mentioned here? 3x plus 12. Okay, 3x plus 12. Then the value of x we have to put here. Three as it is, we have to write x is 40, which we find. N plus twelve, three multiply by forty. That is one twenty. Twelve, twelve. As it is, we have to write one twenty plus twelve is equals to one thirty two. So the major of angle A and C one thirty two. Then we have to find D. Okay. So the value of B is two x minus thirty two. The value of B is two x minus thirty two. B and D is Congruent opposite angle of a parallelogram are congruent. So D also two x minus thirty two. So we have to write the value of x here forty, and we have to multiply two multiply by forty that is two multiply by forty that is eighty minus thirty two. Eighty minus thirty two that is forty eight. So x is forty and c is one thirty two, and the finally we have to we sorry we find the value d is one forty sorry d is equals to forty eight. Okay, this one is six question in the figure P Q P Q R S and A B C R. Okay, are two parallelograms. These are two parallelograms. Okay, P is equals to one hundred and ten. Then find the major of A B C R. We have to find A B C and R. Okay, then first. P Q R S is a parallelogram. P S P Q and S R Q. S P Q and S R Q is equal. If P is one hundred and ten, so R is also one hundred and ten. Okay. They mention here. Okay. S P Q is equals to S R Q opposite angle of a parallelogram. This one is opposite angles. Then. S R Q is also one hundred ten. Then that is A R C is also one hundred ten. A R C is also one hundred ten. So here we got the value of R. 
we got the value of r okay then triangle sorry square a b c r is a parallelogram a b c r is a a b c r is a parallelogram okay a b c is equals to a r c a b c is equals to a r c if r is 110 so a also 110 so they explain here ki a b c is equals to a r c if a b c a r c is 110 so b also 110 to opposite angle of a parallelogram are congruent so a b c is also 110 then next one we have to find a b c a r c plus b a r A R C plus B A R, okay. A R C plus B A R is equals to one eighty degree. So A R C we will find here A R C one hundred and ten. Then we have find here uh, A R C is one hundred and ten and B A R as it is we have to write because we have to find this A one then is equals to one eighty degree. So B A R is equals to one eighty. Uh, if we ch uh, change this value one one hundred ten side, okay. So the plus one side is change into minus one. One eighty minus one hundred ten that is seventy. So B A R B A R is seventy degree. So C is also seventy because they are opposite. Okay, opposite angle of a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, so if A is seventy degree. So C also is seventy degree. So here B C R and B A R opposite angle of parallelogram are congruent. So B C R is also B C R is also congruent. So here student we can find A R C is equal to one hundred and ten. A B C is equal to one hundred and ten. B A R is equal to seventy and B C R is also seventy.